Technology meets marine archaeology. Roger that. Echo Ranger is an autonomous underwater vehicle. Uh, it's basically an underwater robot. Our mission is to do a survey of a historical Navy shipwreck uh, called the USS Independence. Boeing, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, and Coda Octopus teamed up using Boeing's Echo Ranger to explore the aircraft carrier. 30 miles off the coast of Half Moon Bay, California. 1951, she was scuttled in the Monterey, what today is the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary waters in 3,000 feet of water. Echo Ranger can dive deep, getting the closest look at the Independence since it was scuttled by the U.S. Navy in the 1950s. The reason Echo Ranger is great for this is because it can go such a long distance for such a long time. Boeing engineers meticulously poured over the bright yellow unmanned submarine, testing every detail ahead of the mission. And this is our first autonomous underwater deep water survey. Echo Ranger's large whale-like body provided a stable platform to attach Coda Octopus's 3D sonar. We image the same spot on that ship right multiple times. So it gives us very, very high definition. Acoustic is, is great for underwater, has great range. The sonar painted the clearest picture of the independence to date using colors to depict shapes and elevations. We're able to show the topology of the shipwreck. The images show the ship settled in an upright position with large portions of the flight deck intact. We can go to wrecks like Independence and it's not just looking out through a porthole, it's coming back with detailed, measurable scientific data that we can learn from. Learning about our past. Learning how these ships were constructed. Or we learn about in some cases, some of the shipwrecks we study, the people that were aboard either as passengers or crew by what they may have left behind. And applying knowledge to our future. We bring back these images, it gets people to care. Not only about the shipwreck or the history, but then they begin to care more about the oceans and ocean science. 